Patrick Anyene calls out Peruzzi and Davido over breach of contract, saying all he wants is his due compensation. He took to Twitter to air his grievances as regards a legal battle between him, Peruzzi, and Davido, which he said is already in court but is being delayed. Plus TV Africa spoke with an entertainment lawyer, Fawe Emi Foza Oyekonsola, who gave her opinion on the issue. Um, so from the conversation or from the statements or claims that um, Patrick made, it's a breach of contract on the side of Peruzzi with Golden, Golden Boy and Stamen. So it's a civil matter. It's a breach of contract um, issue, allegedly, that is going on. And the only way um, DMW would be roped in is if um, part of the negotiation or the prior existing um, discussion with, before Perizzi, you know, allegedly left Golden Boy was that BMW was going to either buy him out of the contract or it was going to be a joint venture or it was going to be subject to royalty in some cases. So if, if, if that was the prior conversation that was had between Golden Boy, BMW and Perizzi, then BMW can be um, brought into as a party to this um, dispute. But if not, then they will be excluded and it will be golden, point, golden boy and uh, Perizzi part of the action. Yeah. Well, Kostola also touched on the consequences of the said action. Consequences of the action will be all materials that have been released or promoted or all profits that have been made um, uh, by Peruzzi within the period of, I'm thinking this is between 2018, if I'm not mistaken, 2018 to 2020, all such profit belongs to Golden Boy in the instance of what mm. was signed. So if the contract said um, it was a 60-40 agreement in favor of Golden Boy, it means that everything created, including the new album it released, belongs to Golden Boy. Speaking further on the ongoing case, she touched on the attitude of Nigerians and artists in general towards honoring agreements and how some of these artists don't understand their obligations in a contract. Nigerians don't respect contracts, period. It's not a function of whether it's an artist or it's just a general um, culture in the industry where we tend not to honor agreements or honor obligations. However, peculiar to the industry is there's a, there's a there's a huge misunderstanding and lack of education in terms of um, responsibility and obligation of each party in uh, in an entertainment relationship. So half the time, in my experience, when there's a dispute between a label and an artist, half the time it boils down to ignorance and um, ignorance and and uh, and not knowing what your obligation is. So. An artist is expecting that it should be promoted like Drake when he's still in artist development phase. And if you're in the artist development phase for another two years, which means they're not ready for the market, they come out saying that the label has not done anything for them or the label is not doing anything. Meanwhile, there's a full, huge investment in artist development that was going on. On the flip side, the label feels like once you get a house and once you get a car for the artist, that you've done your part. Meanwhile, the reason why the contract was signed was for content production and promotion and marketing of the brand, you know, as mm -hmm. it were. So it's, it falls down to both parties. Most of the time, both parties and both stakeholders don't understand, uh, properly understand the obligation. Even though it's on paper, most mm -hmm. of them don't understand what has been signed. Finally, on whether Patrick has a good chance to win the case in court, as a lawyer, here's what she had to say. Well, a good lawyer never gives probability in in our if you go and argue your case and but if there's a valid contract if there's an existing contract and the terms are properly spelled out and he has his evidence to prove that there was um for, for everything he claimed um in his tweet he has a high he has a good chance of having a good hearing in court so okay so um this case is stressful, <laughs> really, because it's still trending on Twitter as we speak. Yeah, mm -hmm. surviving Perusi. I mean, that's mm. hashtag is just funny. <laughs> and then Davido has responded, but it's a, should I say it's a 
coded response saying this is i'm sure we'll have his response on the screen but mm. it's just weird to see i don't know what do you have to say okay so for me first i would address um Peruzi, because i think it takes a good art you know to reach out or help somebody that is not your blood or your relative to give them to clothe them shelter them and even give them money to sponsor their education if that's true mm -hmm. and if truly this guy did all this honestly i really don't care if it's about the money even if it's 500 naira is spent on you at that point you needed a 500 naira mm. and it was available to help you so you cannot talk to that person and say to that person that so 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 amount is chicken change. For three million. Why didn't you go? Is. I mean, for three million is chicken change. Why didn't you go and pick that for three million that is chicken change then when you needed it? Mm -hmm. And then um, to the guy, um, Patrick. Patrick, right mm -hmm. now, I think you have a good case if truly the contract was well spelled out. He has mm. a very good case. And I don't think he should back down on this. He should pursue it. And so um, he's already doing that, according to him, the, court is, um, the case is in court. He should take it up. He should not back down. He should not even settle out of court. No matter how long it takes. No matter how long it takes. I mean, don't stop at it. And while you're doing that, don't hang on to this particular issue and then talk about it every day. Let it be in court and then move on. If you have any other artists you think you want to promote now, this the right, I think this is like the best time for you to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't let this, don't let everybody think you're really hungry because of this case. You know, just do the need for. And Peruzzi, honestly, I think you should act right. I, I, I don't think it's really, it has gone so bad that he cannot right his wrongs right now. It's not too late for him to, you know, make corrections. And then this guy made it clear that Peruzzi introduced um, Patrick to David Doe as the guy that recorded his video. And in the chat that he released between him and David Doe, David Doe stated clearly that Peruzzi is not signed to DMW. So, I, I mean, like the entertainment lawyer rightly said, I don't think DMW is going to be dragged into this. Only if they have another contract with DMW saying we own um, Peruzzi together or we're both involved in Peruzzi, then that's where there's a problem. But I don't think there's anything like that because he didn't say there was like an arrangement or whatever it is between him and official arrangement between Davido and Patrick. Mm. So on this one, Peruzzi is very wrong and it's just very rude that somebody will help you and this is what you can, you know, used to pay back the favor. It's just bad. Nigerians need to do better. Okay. Um, I think um, the lawyer also touched on the fact that people keep saying David Doe, because um, if you ask me, David Doe has absolutely nothing to do with me? all of this. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, because um, he, he has denied signing Peruzzi okay. to even start with. And if there's anything, it should be between DMW and not David Doe. Mm. Who is DMW? I mean, DMW uh, is a brand. The company, the company. <laughs> the the company. company. Who, do we, who is the face of the brand? I mean, we've had a conversation where probably a case is ongoing and Jay-Z is involved in the case. Who do they drag in the case? Or whose name is used as the reportage for the case? I mean, is the person you know that you would call. But I mean, well, at, at the end of the day, Jay-Z's company's name is being called. It's just that Jay-Z is being mentioned in that situation. It's not same thing that's happening. No, no, no. This time around, it's even, I mean, DMW is not really being mentioned. It's David Doe. That is mm -hmm. being dragged. But at the same time, before you land um, what you were going to say, I feel like Davido also has a role to play in this because, regardless, we are all humans. And this guy has reached out to you as one record label boss to another record label boss. Have you tried to speak to Peruzzi? To I think they also linked no, the chat with Davido. Have you tried to speak? To Davido, I mean to Peruzzi to do the right thing, and then secondly, uh, he he let out a charge, right? And he said, oh, um, he did not sign him, and blah blah blah. But then he's also saying that when he said, come and let's have a conversation, Davido was there, Peruzzi was there, and it became an altercation. We saw the video, and the video is not so clear to be played on air, but it was it, Davido was present where Peruzzi was telling him for three million is chicken change and blah blah blah. So. From one boss to another who understands what it takes to build an artist, what has he done to make this thing right? That is a question that we cannot sweep aside. That's how I feel about it, though. And uh, I, I totally get what you're saying, but let me just play his advocate here. <laughs> because now, you know, Paris is the one in between. Mm -hmm. Paris is telling Davido a story. We don't know what he's telling to Davido. Now we don't even know 
Peruzzi's side of the story. I mean, I would really appreciate if Peruzzi would come out to say something about this. Like, mm -hmm. let's know your own side of the story because this is just one side of the story that we know. Mm -hmm. You know, come and say your own side of the story. That's when we can now say maybe Davido has a role Which is to why play. I'm yeah. saying as one record label boss to another. Now, I even want to ignore the old okay. record label boss to another. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to look at it from a business point of view. Mm -hmm. David O has released a tweet saying that best thing that happened to me. It's surviving mm. No, I don't it's even Peruzzi. think it's Peruzzi. No, it's not. Okay, best thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's the best thing. But I think it was Peruzzi. referring to Peruzzi. Yeah. Okay. And if you actually think about it, ever since Peruzzi came into the picture, mm -hmm. David O's sound changed. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And it is public knowledge that Peruzzi writes a lot of songs for David O. Do you understand? And, um, in that case, from the business side, if my business is doing better with somebody and that person keeps telling me that I don't have a contract with this person, do you understand? I'll keep working with you. Honestly. Until it is now legal, this person pulls out, I don't have a, they keep telling me this, you keep telling me that. Yes, I understand where you're coming from, that as a boss to a mm, boss. But, eh? but <laughs> if I'm striving, it's only human it's nature forget, to be yeah, selfish. Honestly. Let's so face you're it. saying he's supposed to be selfish. Even I'm not when, saying I'm that's not. Right now, no, right now, the case is in court. I mean, I don't even know why he decided, but okay, he was saying he's now being delayed. But the mm. case is in court, meaning there is a legal document. Ob obviously. And Davido is aware of this from that chat. Even when he's saying, oh, I did not sign. Okay, why hasn't he signed for Okay, now hold on. Because, the because he knows that he contract. Yes, so can I so you're saying he does not have are you saying he responsibility wants, to even make Peruzzi do the it right is between thing? Peruzzi well, you know, and Golden Boy. Force, uh, that's Peruzzi the lawyer said it that it's between Golden Boy and Peruzzi. Davido cannot force Peruzzi to do what he wants to do. He can only advise. And I wish sure that he has not spoken to him that you know what? If you have anything to do with this guy, sort it okay, out. And Peruzzi is being stubborn angle. about it. From this angle, so when you're doing music, mm. I mean, there's the part of creativity and putting out good music out there and all that, right? Mm. And there's the part of the business. So everybody signs a contract, mm. and you know who is getting this and where it is getting mm. getting to. As a business owner, let's forget about the, pe the personal angle, and you are signing this contract, and you know you're signing it with somebody who is allegedly tied to someone mm. at the end of the day you're working with an artist of a record label who is supposed to also get something from the court it's not supposed to be paid but David in wrote that. him at some point when he said that um Paris's first court is ready mm -hmm. come yeah which was yeah. where the altercation happened yeah but i think david was still playing his own part by saying that okay because we don't even know now which is and why Davido i'm saying stated clearly in that chat that I didn't collect any money on behalf of Peruzzi mm. as maybe his manager or the head of his record label. Mm -hmm. So I really don't owe so you any anything. So any money Peruzzi is taking for shows is going to Peruzzi's, Peruzzi's pockets. Pocket. It is not going to DMW. Okay. So what it is Peruzzi say? now that to keep up with the obligation period. to pay Golden Boy. Period. Like, they should settle it. But I think, okay, finally... Chicken change. And if you feel it's chicken change, you should have flinged it out of the window by now, even if Patrick has to pick it from the floor. I really it feel, I mean, I, I really feel so is. bad for this Patrick guy because I can imagine if I'm in his shoes, you know, when you've spent so much on somebody mm -hmm. and then the person thinks I've seen a bigger opportunity and, the, you know, there's really nothing wrong in when you're working with somebody mm -hmm. and you see a bigger opportunity. Where the problem is, how you're going to leave that person. Mm -hmm. If you are, I'm sure if you had gone to meet Patrick here and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation that, okay, you know what, I want to be a part of DMW or I want to be an independent artist and, you know, they sort it out. I don't think all this will be happening, yeah. but because you're just, you yeah. Yeah, but he also mentioned that he told him that he wanted them, that's us, to join DMW. Mm. And the at the end of the day, you went behind him, yeah. and it's just wrong. I, I, well, on top I, of I his don't... flight tickets, <laughs> <laughs> let's well, not forget like, that. Part. Like we always say, the three sides to a story: mm. my side, your side, and the truth. So um, we've only heard one side. Right. Um, I'd like Peruzzi to also come out and address the situation. Mm. David O has played his part by addressing it as well. Mm. Mm. It might sound subliminal or like it's just a... He has uh, not addressed it. Yeah, well, he hasn't addressed it. He has nothing to say because he's not the money involved. That's what I'm saying. So he has not addressed it. I mean, well, the DMW can just should say... release a statement as well. Yeah, that, mm. And they should say that, okay, Perez is not our artist. artist. He's not signed on the uh, record label, so we do not owe well, I think they've always held that out so loud and clear for everybody. It's just part of the 30 billion gang. <laughs>